residents in August Town, St. Andrew, took to the streets on Thursday, alleging that the shooting of a man by the police in the area was politically motivated, but law enforcers are saying that is not the case. Mounting a fiery blockade at a section of the road in the community, residents called for justice as they recounted what they said happened when Jermaine O'Mealy was shot. However, the police are reporting that the man had a firearm. Commanding officer for St. Andrew's Central Division, Senior Superintendent of Police Marlon Nesbeth said about 1.40 p.m. a team of police officers were on duty in August Town when they came upon a group of people in the African Gardens area. Men in the group reportedly aroused the police's suspicion, so they decided to check them. As the lawman alighted from their motor vehicle, one man allegedly drew a firearm and pointed it at the police, who reportedly took evasive action and fired at the man. He ran, continued to point the weapon at the police, and was shot in the process. He then ran onto a premises, and the police followed. On entering the premises, the police were able to retrieve the firearm, a Glock 29 pistol with a magazine containing 10 rounds, the senior lawman said. He added that, while in the process of assisting the injured O'Mealy to the hospital, a crowd converged on the police officers, physically preventing them from doing so. Subsequently, they had to retreat due to the boisterous crowd, Nesbeth said. The senior lawman disclosed that O'Mealy was the subject of a murder investigation in the St. Andrew South Police Division last June, and that he was also featured in other reported incidents of crime that came under police investigation. Concerning the claim that the shooting was politically motivated, Nesbeth said that his officers are not aligned with any particular candidate, nor are they involved in the campaigning that is taking place ahead of the February 26 local government election. Get shoot up, then take the victim and go with him. Yeah. Why them leave him and him did a gun? Yeah. Why justice? Yeah. Let me know. Um, I was at my shop yesterday. When I come up, I see lots of crowd, right? I saw my sister on the ground. So from I see my sister on the ground, I'm here shot. I know so somebody for me get shot. So when I come up, I see the car I drive off. It was an unmarked car. So the, when we come and get the video, them, the police don't have on any uniform or anything. Then come. The video I show so then come then fly out of the car, the whole of the youth them there, so because motorcade are going on. So they like them a plan for the motorcade. You understand me? So the whole of them they right at the little mouth here. So but here so the police then come. They not even identify themselves. When I police tongue bore. You understand me? Police have ears ringing in my ears. Police here plat up up in her ear. Oh you gonna know that is a police. If you see police, if you see man like that, where you say I drive by, I come in, our man I come in, so you go run, don't it? If I know that they, they did find a gun, well, I would have said, well, him have a gun pan him, so anything is anything, right? But them don't come out with no gun. If you come somewhere and you shoot up somebody and you get a gun, are you going to leave the person on the ground? Oh, so why now they are saying they find gun? When you find gun, you come out with a gun showing you and your hands so you find a gun. At this, me just take off of him. Therefore, go away with him. You left him same place in the house. You understand me? I understand, and I, it was reported to me by the residents that yesterday while they were gathering to prepare to come on the motorcade that an unmarked vehicle with unmarked personnel that turned out to be police d drove down, stopped suddenly, fly their doors and start a fire shot. There was a, is a young man by the name of Jeremy who got shot. He ran up to the house up there and eventually they followed him and after they followed him to the house, the lady in the house confronted them. Same police, we have observed them over the period since I've been campaigning. Up to Monday when Senator Bunton and I was walking, we realized that they were taking pictures and trying to find out, and we, we, we were trying to figure out what intelligence could they attain at this time for someone who had been in the DIU department and have been here for years. And therefore, I actually introduced myself to them on Monday. And it's kind of surprising to me to see this kind of action coming from them because I see these actions as intimidated and I see it as a threat to my campaign.
we are we are saying to the JCF and all the agencies that is affiliated with that we would like to have the kind of peace that is in August Town that the residents have demonstrated and deserve and that kind of behavior of trying to divide the residents because of political motive, yes or no, we will not accept. A man was reportedly gunned down in his yard on 7th Street in Greenwich Farm, Kingston on Wednesday. He has been identified as 45-year-old Steve Facey, an employee at Petrojam Limited. Reports are that Facey was entering his yard when he was attacked by gunmen and shot several times. He was rushed to the hospital, where he died while undergoing treatment. His sister told the local media that she believes Facey was targeted by the assailants. She described her brother as someone who loved to work and was very caring and concerned about his entire family. So I don't know why them come do it, but them specifically target him because, and I like him did amongst no group of any person, him did just open him gate, him back gate, and I guess them know that him do that, and come kill her. People just kill her for any little reason why they want to kill her, but I know them target him. It's just a youth who ever want to work loving, caring, concerned, but not only him immediate family, him extended family, because when I'm family and she can tell you, him just concerned about everybody. Yeah, the only thing my that want him to do just do no, no, no pull up and road, so, and because too sometimes you say you know, you know nothing, you want to go here and there, and you, you know that place is safe, but sit there, <laughs> right in him yard, them come killing. So that is sure you say, oh, how oh, evil them is. Oh, evil them is. I'm still put God upon it. Evil. I still put God upon it and thank Him. Life never swear, but I thank Him, say, we still rush with Him, and the doctor them try them best. A taxi man was this morning shot in halfway Tree St. Andrew by a policeman. The incident happened about 7.15 in front of Brooklyn Supermarket on Hope Road. It is reported that the cabbie was instructed by the police to stop, but he allegedly disobeyed and attempted to flee. It is further alleged that in a bid to avoid being hit by the taxi man, the cop pulled his service gun and opened fire, hitting the cabbie. A team from the Independent Commission of Investigations is now at the scene, probing the shooting. 